I have these two flash drives with different problems. The Sandix drive does not show up in my computer no matter what you do and the digi reach is inaccessible and cannot be formatted. If you get these error messages whilst attempting to open or fix your flash drive, then please follow this tutorial to the end. I will also show you some vital configurations you can apply in case the first method did not work for you and possibly other methods as well. I will also show you another website where you can get more resources to fix your flash drive or SSD drives with firmware issues. Most problems of USB flash drive of this nature is as a result of corrupted firmware or programs that controls the flash drive. All that you need to do is just to reinstall the programs to correct the problem. Please kindly note that this procedure will completely erase any data you may have on your drive. So if you have any vital data, please contact a specialist. So with that being said, let's start. I have inserted one of the flash drives. And when I open my computer, it does not show up here. Now let me go to my disk management and check if the drive is present there. Yes, the drive is present, but it shows no media. Again, let me check my command prompt and see if there is any difference. As you can see, it also shows no media here. So now let's fix the drive. First of all, I'll open my Google browser and search for Cheap Genius and press enter. I'll select the first link which happens to be the official website of Cheap Genius. Now, I'll click on download and choose one of the links. After that, I'll click here to start the download. From there, I'll click on the download and unzip the file. Now I run the application and click yes to proceed. Now you can see the Chip Genius has automatically detected your flash drive informations. So here just right click and you will see the flash memory information sent to the clipboard. After that I will close the application and right click on the desktop, then new, then select text document. You can name it anything you like, but I will name it Cheap Genius. After I open it, right click and paste the information here. Now please observe very carefully. All that we need is the controller vendor, controller part number, and sometimes VID and PID values. Again, let me show you one trick to easily get your flash drive firmware. Please observe very carefully. My controller part number is AU6989SN-GTC into bracket F500. Let me copy them somewhere. And my controller vendor is Alco Micro. Let me copy and paste that too. So finally here we have controller vendor together with controller part number. Highlight and copy. After I open your Google browser and paste it here. Again, please ensure that the controller vendor comes first before the controller part number and press enter. From there, check whether the search results matches with the information of your drive. This is the easiest way to find the correct firmware for your flash drive. As you can see, my drive information matches with the first and second results, but I will click on the first link. So here I will scroll down 
and download the firmware from one of the links. After the download is completed, I will extract the file. Open it and run the application and click OK. Please kindly note that the capacity or size of the drive should be the same as what you see in the manufacturer's software. In case you notice a different capacity, it simply means that this is not the right firmware for your drive, so you need to go back and do your search again. After that, click Start to begin the flashing process. This will take some time, so please be patient. Now, the flashing process is completed. This took about 20 minutes. So let's check if the drive is fixed now. Yes, the drive is okay now. You can see it has a capacity of 4 GB. But one may ask what to do if the flashing process fails or did not complete or got stuck in the process. For that, we need to apply some settings. Let me use Fixing Mass Production Software as an example. But this applies to many other softwares as well. For that, click Settings, then OK. Please ensure the settings are like this. After that, click Disk Size and ensure that the Auto Disk Size is selected. From there, click Doors Format and ensure you tick LED Normal on. From there, come to USB Parameters. Here, you need to ensure that the VID and PID values from Chip Genius are the same. As you can see, mine is the same. From there, click on User Interface and ensure you tick Factory Mode. After that, click OK. Then click Start to begin the process. Now, let's fix the other flash drive. This one is going to take a different approach. I'm trying to open the drive by getting this error. Now, let's format it and see what happens. As you can see, Windows is unable to complete the format. I run Chip Genius. Here, observe carefully. It seems the controller part number is unknown. How do we fix this? There is one more approach we can use. But before that, please take note that this process only works for a normal or standard USB flash drive and not a micro USB flash drive or a memory card. These are examples of standard USB flash drives. Examples of micro USB flash drives. The reason why this approach is not applicable to a micro USB flash drive is because micro USB flash drive and memory card have a single or integrated controller chip for the USB controller and the storage chip. Unlike the standard USB flash drive which has two separate chips, that is the controller chip and the storage chip. So here we will disassemble the flash drive as demonstrated in the video. Now, this is the storage or memory chip. It is a 64GB storage chip. And this is the controller chip. And we can find the part number written on it. Just observe carefully. It is fixing PS2251-70-25. This is all that we need to search for the controller firmware. Now, I will google with the controller part number. I have similar results in the second link, so I'll click on it. 
I will click here to download the firmware. After that, I will zip the file and run the application. Now, the flash drive has been detected by the mass production software and ready to flash the USB flash drive. One last tip, in case you open the mass production software and the flash drive is not detected, you can click on the drive letter or change ports. After that, you enter the PID and VID values and click start to start the flashing process. Another tip, in case you don't find your firmware using the Google trick, then I'll suggest you open your browser and type usbdev.ru and press enter. So here you can see it's a Russian website, so you need to translate it. You click on the three dots at the top right corner of your Google browser and click on translate. So from there, I'll click on the first link, which happens to be the official website. And here, I'll click on files. And you can see download programs for flash drive and SSD recovery. So here, scroll down and you see all the controller vendors. Let me use my flash drive as an example. The controller vendor is Alco Micro, so I'll have to find Alco and click on it. From there, scroll down and check if they support your controller part number. Mine is AU6989SN-GTC. So this part number is similar to mine. So I will scroll down and here you will find many different manufacturers programs. Here you can see our core MP2023. This 2023 means it contains all the updated programs as well as the older versions. So I'll click on this. So here when I scroll down, I can see many firmwares for my flash drive. One more tip, try downloading from the current to the older version. The current version starts from the bottom. So you need to scroll down to the bottom to access the updated files. And in case you download a file and upon extraction, it requires you to enter a password. Then this is the password. So that's the end of today's tutorial. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you promptly. Also give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Share it to anyone you think might need it. Consider subscribing if you wish to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.